everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. We are in part 10 with our how to make a junk journal from an old book. Let me just back up a little bit so you can all see everything that's going on. And today we are moving right along. Very exciting. We're getting into the depths of it. Um, <clears throat> trying to clean up my mess here. Um, the book's about like this, this fattish at this point. This fat, I mean, it, it doesn't quite lay flat anymore like a regular book. It has some heft to it. So let's see how far we want to go. All right. Um, checking my original list that I created a long time ago of ideas. Uh, we are cruising down to, I can't, I can't read my list. Okay. <laughs> get my glasses. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. We're back. We're back. Okay. Um, uh, we did notepad papers. We did row of stamps. We did stencils. Oh, now we're on sentiments. So sentiments was is just a, a Q word or a keyword to me that means words. So I'm going to incorporate words or little chains of words in different ways uh, throughout the junk journal. And uh, we'll do four here together. Okay, so since we have four signatures in this particular journal. All right, so, uh, well, the easiest way to do... Um, oh, I don't think I, I did this the other day and I, I, I lost the video. So... This is the stencil, uh, the stickles, or it's not actually stickles, this is Nouveau Drops, but you can draw flourishes and flowers and things like that with your um, Nouveau Drops. And if I, <clears throat> if I don't forget this time, I will draw one at the end so you can see how that's done. It's very easy. Okay, so let's play with some words. All right, so I have a couple options for words, but um, initially I think what I'm going to do is just do the, the age-old tradition of a rubber stamp with words on it. And that could be anything. It could be a... Uh, Hey, you're awesome um, to, uh, you know, no, you're not. Okay. <laughs> okay, so words and sentiments might be, well, I mean, sentiments are usually happy birthday and stuff like that. But anything with words, I think, is what I was trying to remind myself of. So here I have special delivery and I have uh, some script. And I'm going to use, you can use any color, actually. Uh, but I'm going to use black soot. And let's just find a place in... The first, oh, maybe, oh, we already have a thing there, it's okay. See, things are getting kind of uh, filled in here as we go, as you can look back and see things that we did. Maybe I'm going to put special delivery here. That just might be fun. Okay. Um, these are probably best done with some, like, stamping block, but I think you can also do it without. Might be a little messy. Oh, boy, there we go. I already have ink on my fingers. Okay, here. And we're down. And we pushed, and we're up. Okay, not bad. For the first stamp of the day, we have special delivery in the corner there. And maybe, oh, I should really get my daubers out. It's going to be a dauber day. It is. It's a dauber day. I hope you're having a fun day. Is your day a dauber day? My day is definitely a dauber day. Let's see. Where's my black? There it is. Okay, I'm just going to enhance this page a little bit. So as I go through and I add these extra elements, sometimes I will enhance a page a little bit more just for, um, you don't have to ink every page, but um, you don't have to ink any pages. But it's just kind of fun, something to do. If your eye catches it and you say, hey, wouldn't that be nice to add a little something? You can totally do that at any time. Um, okay, let's see. Maybe a word here. That might be nice. Okay, so we've done that one. That was a rubber stamp. Let's uh, slide into something a little bit different. I have this little, whoops, I have this little uh, drawer. It says, can you see that? It says words. Um, so what I did was I tore some interesting things out of those, you know those books, The Less Life Lessons? Um, those are fun to grab if you come across those in the thrift store. I've learned that you should treat everyone with respect and demand respect in return. Age 51. Um, so you can get little things like that and tear them out of books or maybe you have something from um, you know, from the desk. I don't know. These are probably from an old magazine of some sort. Uh, here's um, a friend of mine stamped some things for me. Wasn't that sweet? I mean, just having some things at the ready is very fun um, and, and uh, useful way to have words at the ready. We also have uh, words that are in dictionaries and things like that. You could pick out a favorite word and tear it out with the meaning and stick it down. Um, you could have words like journal. I think this is from Nick the Booksmith. Um, what else do we have? Oh, all sorts of stuff in here. We have words that are like poems on Santa Claus, uh, words that are advertisements, um, more poems. Here's a full page of those lessons. Uh, also words from um, old 
uh, newspaper, which is really cool. And uh, uh, words uh, from vocabulary cards. Okay, so there's so many ways to use words um, slash sentiments in your junk journals. Okay, let's, let's just try one here. Okay. All right, here we have this. Now let's see. What is this? Related Educational Services of the Society. That sounds very, very impressive. I love the way the colors work on this. It's just a, um, uh, a coffee-colored little something I tore out of somewhere, and I think it's kind of cool. I think I'm going to ink it. Here we go. She's inking it. Um, should I ink it in black? Maybe the black might look nice there. Maybe I'll come over with a little brown, too, since we're using a bit of a black and brown inking theme in the book. And this is just going to help it pop off from the paper a little bit more. It's not going to make it too thick, um, but I think I am just going to glue that there because it's it's kind of, this is heavier on this page and I'm going to put this up here. So when you open this, you have a couple things to look at. Now at this point, it would be just brilliant of me to pull out my, my glues. I think I'm going to use my Scotch Create glue stick, my favorite glue stick, and I am going to masterfully, I'm going to pull out a glue mat. How about that? That's right. This, this, is, this is some awesome action today. I'm, I'm crafting like a real crafter. <laughs> a real crafter should. Okay, here we go. Just uh, putting the glue everywhere, making sure to get the edges. Now, you can go traditional. You can, you can go on an angle. You could go off a corner. A lot of ways to put something down. I think I'm just going to go traditional with this particular one. Um, and you can change it up as you go. Okay, so there's our first insertion of words. Technically, we have put a few poems and things like that in there, but... Um, oh, actually, that's our second. We did special delivery and this one. So now we're going to move along into three. Um, okay. Uh, I do... I like this uh, dictionary, this old dictionary page. It's a vintage page from somewhere. It should look very nice, wouldn't you? Yeah, it looks just like kind of nice the way you are, but you might actually make a really nice page border. I could actually, you, know, you see how this one has a line down the middle dividing the words? That would be cool to fold along that line and do a little wraparound page trim, just for fun, you know, just because we're here and we could do that. So maybe like that. And then when they turn it, it's also there. Hey, I like that. All right, let's do it. Um, just something fun and different that you can do. Um, you can decorate pockets and tucks and things like that also with words. Maybe we'll do that in the next one to kind of jazz up our pockets. There we go. Okay. There's enough on here just to make a little statement that we have been inked. Nothing mandatory. No pressure. No heavy hoo ha ha. Nope. None of that. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go back over to uh, glue mat. Yes. You can use old magazines for gluing or old book pages or just, a, uh, you know, some of those, uh, you know what make great glue mats are those um, cutting boards that are just a thin piece of plastic. You get them at the Dollar Tree. Those are really cool. Okay, here's my fold to put you on here. There we go. Top you in and glue you down. Okay, what do we have? Oh, very nice. I do like that. I know it's just like a subtle little collage type element with some words that people can... Let's go uh, look down here and check out some words, learn some new words, reminded of old words. Kind of fun, right? Um, and you can emphasize the outline if you want to. If you're uh, so inclined, maybe I just want to do it to one side. I'm, I'm using an Aquarelle, Aquarelle Stabilo Pencil, number 8046. Yes, that's what that is. It's a dissolvable, it's kind of like a dissolvable watercolor pencil if you draw with it. And then you get your little squirty. And if you have a Q-tip, okay. Oh, I, I remember where my Q-tips are. Wait a minute. I think I do. Hang on. Uh. Uh. Nope. Thought I did. Wait, is it here? I found them. Found them. Oh yay! 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 Okay. Here we go. I was <laughs> looking for these things forever. Here we go. Little Q-tip. Little water. And. We just, just do a little of this action, and it, and it spreads it and blends it, gives you a little bit of a grungy appeal. I, I think that's kind of cool on the page. You can do it to both sides, one side, whatever you like. 
Should we do it to both sides? Why not? Let's do it to both sides, see how it looks. Will be complete? This is the torn page size, a little rougher. That's kind of cool, though. A little more water in the hand. You can also use your finger, um, but if you have a Q-tip, it's a very nice tool for this. There you go. And you could smudge it out and do all sorts of fun stuff, but I think that's a good, that's a good starter program there. And you wipe it off on your shorts. There you go. <laughs> all right. Uh, so that was number three, and then let's go to number four. What was I thinking? Oh, I'll put one of those, um, the uh, important life lessons one. I do like those. What's this one? I've learned that to ensure rain, schedule an outdoor wedding. Okay, I do love that. And this might be actually a fun place to put this sentiment. Let's do it. Um, and I think I'm going to do a crossbridge sentiment here. Um, that might be kind of fun. Let's zoom in and see all that. It goes, that's too close. We'll zoom back out. Okay, here we are. Um, and I'm just going to ink it. And, oh, I said I was going to decorate a pocket. All right, maybe I'll pop one more in because I, I would probably put more words than just like one for each signature. I'd probably come back and put like a bunch in different places and stuff because that's kind of a fun thing you can easily do. And maybe we'll just demonstrate that. There are no rules, right? It doesn't have to be one per per. No, 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 no. Now a couple options. You could layer this here. Okay, I think that would be very cute too. Um, you could do the cross bridge in here, which is I think what we're going to do, which is very cute. Um, I'll put that right in there. That just fools with everybody. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of neat. And then maybe fold it so it has a nice little crease. Take it down into the crease. There we go. Very cool look, right, for a presentation of a page. Um, let's see for any of these pockets we would like to decorate. And you can put words on words, but what makes it attractive is the different... Uh, size or font or style. So if you have a bunch of words like this, you can come along and put something like that. And the white is picking up on the white here, so there's a little of that going on. Uh, let's just do that, see how that goes. And you could, you know, cluster up and layer up as much as you want on these little pockets. There's no, there's no end to it, the fun you can have with layering. Okay, I think that's cute. Let's do that. Um, she's just so adorable. She's actually a valentine. Yeah, how cute is that? I mean, valentines were really cute back in the day, you know, you know, and I think they're cute all year long. So there you go. Wouldn't it be fun to give your, your, uh, your loved ones valentines anytime throughout the year? I think that would be wonderful. Um, okay, so the next thing, uh, do we want to do something else with words? Probably a lot, but uh, you know, I think you need a word. You look like lonely with the wordage there. Let's give you something white on there would look nice. I'm digging. Um, what have I got? Let's see. Oh, it's a little oh, calm. Oh, that would be nice. I think that would be perfect. Maybe a little shorter. But calm, calm of it all. Uh, I think this, I had a list of words and I just typed them out on the computer and then printed it out. That's a nice way to get a bunch of words. You can do it once and you have it. You can put it on different backgrounds. Very fun, very useful. Okay, here we go. Little calm in the wind. Here? Uh -huh. Oh, here. Okay. There we go. We're clustering. There we are. All right, now we have calm. Okay. So you can add words to things to amplify, to accentuate, to decorate. And um, what are we at time with? Okay. Let's go on to the next concept because I think this would be fun to do together. It's uh, I'm just going to go off the, the map there with the list. I don't know where it pops up, but I definitely want to do it with you guys. Oh, it's, uh, it's that's the next one. Belly bands. Isn't that funny? It's the next one. Okay, so let's do belly bands, and let's do them many different ways through the book. And a belly band, if you, if you don't know, is uh, basically it's a long skinny or a short fatty, uh, but it's glued one end and the other, and there's an opening here where you can slide tuckables in. And that's basically the concept of a belly band. So let us motor on back to the front let's see what we have in here it would be a nice belly band location wouldn't you now i have what i call my collection of long tall sallies and what do they look like i just I, lots of strips of long things so if you're wondering what to do with those cutoffs from uh, junk journal making uh, grab and put them in a pile and have a bunch and you're going to have your set of long tall sallies and uh, what is this here's a long tall sally oh that's kind of cool no, I want to use that for something else. Okay, uh, but I do like that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just, I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick a very nice long, tall Sally that we can use in our book. 
Okay, oh, that's pretty. All right, so here is a picture from, I believe this is from the Wildflowers of the World by Barbara Everard and some other guy. Yeah, and uh, well, that would look very pretty right there, wouldn't it? Yes. Now you can ink around to have it show up more, or you can let it be. Let's, let's use a little inking on this just for a little emphasis sake. Uh, maybe with the, just the hickory smoke, that might be pretty. I'll use the black. Um, I'm going to go around the edge here and pick that up. Okay, a little bit here. This is, uh, I don't know why it's so wet. Maybe I sprayed water? I don't know. I'm going to just pick some of that up. Okay, but this is hickory smoke. It's uh, basically a gray. And um, I've got it all over the hands now. Just going to ink. Just so it pops a little from the background. Again, not necessary, but I think it's a nice look. Okie dokie. And if you have a pretty picture, um, it's nice to turn it into a belly band, give you some options. You can place your belly band in the center. You can place it off to the side, this side. Um, you could even put it on an angle. It is done. It is true. Okay, but this one I think I'm going to put this way because I think it's going to honor the picture the best. And I'm going to glue it down with some Fabrifix glue. Clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. If you have not seen the bottle, here's the bottle. There you go. And... Let's put that down. And let's place all our belly bands first, and then we'll come back and tuck things in them because I want these to dry and not get uh, glued, um, not have our little things tucked in that get glued in there. Okay, so we're going to move on now to uh, number two. Number two, let's find a nice page and signature number two. Maybe, oh, we've done, we've done a lot of work in here. Okay, maybe here. Okay, I'm um, going to find one. Oh, these are pretty. I do like these. Maybe you have some of those paper punches and maybe you sat there for a day and paper punched. And this is from coffee paper, co copy paper that I had, I guess coffee dyed or something. And then I went and just went to town and did a bunch of these. Okay. Um, so what I think I might like to do, it's a little flimsy on its own. I might want to have something stronger underneath it. And you could do anything at this point underneath it. Okay. Um, what's that? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Look, I'm just looking for a piece of something. Okay, maybe you. This is kind of nice. Um, this is a piece of acrylic flow paint paper. If you've ever like taken the cup, put acrylic paint of different colors in there, turn it upside down, and then lift it up and let it pour over a canvas. That was, um, I basically mopped up my mess that fell off the canvas with some paper. And I thought that might uh, make a nice thing. I think that contrasts well there. Maybe we'll do something like that. Okay, so we will make this a, um, we'll make this a double. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to go big. All right, so I'm using the Fabrifix and maybe I'll make this one over here a little bit more. I'm not going to ink it because I think the green against the white looks very nice. Now, I think I'm going to, though, instead of cutting off the edges, I'm going to fold them up to make them a little stronger. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you can, you can actually come off the top and the bottom. That's okay. You know, it doesn't have to just sit on this. Now, it can come off the top and the bottom, but I think I will ink this one. I don't know why. I just, I don't, well, maybe not. Maybe just the ends. Maybe just the ends. Yeah. Okay, we'll do a little there because we did that one too. Okay, just random. Okay. There, now I'm going to glue this into place. Now, I'm going to, it's a double flap, so I'm going to glue the flap. It's going to make the flap a little bit stronger. And there, glue the flap. And then, oops, I already, oh, that was the outside. Look at that, I was already folded. Okay, there we go. And then glue that. All right, now let's put this down. On top. And if you don't have uh, pretty punch outs or something, you don't have to do that. You can just be a plain strip. That would look very cool too. And you can decorate this up at your will. And we will just go ahead and let that um, dry. But what we have created are two belly bands, one under here and then one under here. So we could put multiple things in there and we will come back and do that together as a family of paper lovers. Okay, we are motoring on now to, uh, in our slow crafting way, uh, we are motoring on now very slowly. We're horse and buggying on, who are we kidding? Um, to uh, signature number three. And okay, this is this one I want to show you. Yeah, okay, here we go. Um, this is the classic, don't ever forget this one. This is an awesome one to have in your little side kicker. 
um, I want to call it the, the sideways belly band. So instead of having a traditional vertical belly band, you just take a piece of paper, maybe shorter, stubbier, it's okay. But we're just going to go across the page like that. Yeah, it's going to um, be glued on this side and on this side. So something long and tall can slip down there. And uh, I think I want to maybe dress this one up just a little bit. You know, I'm going to take my scallop scissors and I'm just going to uh, see how this, this is a wallpaper. So you can use any kind of paper here. You could use fabric, doesn't matter. Um, maybe mount it on some cardboard. But here we're just going to use, and if you have scrapbook paper, this would be a nice time to use some scrapbook paper. There we go. Okay, now I think this one will be inked. Yes, to have, we need more pop. And I'm going to go with the gray since I've, there's some gray in this picture. Not that there has to be. I don't know. I'm just working with the gray today, trying to do something different other than the brown. Here we go. That creates a little uh, fun for me and creativity for the book. So I like that. Maybe I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put it lower because you have the nice flush here. So it's not a pocket. No, no, no. This is a belly band because we're only going to glue here and here on the back side. So let's do that. There you go. All right. I'm waiting for a workman today. I have some window issues. So I'm, I'm looking out the window, see if anybody's not here. Nobody's here yet. It's okay. Uh, okay, there we go. And we're going to let that set. It would have been really smart if I marked where these things were in the book, right? No, I thought just thinking about that as I'm entering signature four with you guys to do another fun-filled belly band. Let's see, where's a nice little place for a belly band? Um, it's a nice sturdy page on the back. Maybe we'll do one here. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Okay, so another option, a, a different way to do a belly band is maybe grab one of your favorites. That's kind of cool. Um, this is something, I, I just had some paper and I collaged on it. So this is one of those things where you can just grab one of those weird things you made at some point. I'm going to cut it in half long ways. Just over here at my, my guillotine cutter. Okay. Now I'm back over here with you guys. See, I wasn't gone long. And uh, now I'm going to ink it because I would like it to pop. What color would you like it to ink? It looks nice on there too. Yeah, maybe I'll put it here. But I don't know, maybe it stretches out more comfortable here. I think here and then inked. Okay, so we're going to ink with the gray because that's going to pick up really nicely on this old book page paper that I collaged with. And yeah, if you ever just want to collage on paper for a while to use up your scraps, it's a great thing because you're going to have things that you can make stuff out of. Any, oops, any old time, you know, it's just ready to go. You grab it. It's kind of like a master board. Um, I think a master board is basically just a giant collage you make and then you cut up and use it at, in other thing, as other things. So here is, here's one of those examples. Okay, we've got some words going that way. Okay, that looks cute. I like that. Okay, so what we're actually creating here is double belly bands. You could do triple belly bands. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can use belly bands. Um, and this just happens to be another one. So... Let's do it. And the next journal you make, you may do it a different way. Maybe you'll do threesies next time. Uh, maybe you'll do a grid pack. I mean, who knows where you're going to go. It's just going to be amazing to hear all your thoughts and your ideas of where you take these. And uh, I can't wait to see your ideas. So, and hear about your thoughts on this process. Is this how you do it? Is this, do you do it differently? I mean, lots of people are making journals out there and we all do it a little bit differently. Um, so yeah, this is, and I change the way I do it too. Um, this is just one way to make a journal. Um, I think it's an easy way. It's um, methodical, it's efficient, and it's fun. You know, it's just downright fun. Okay, let me get my little rubber stamps back in their home, back in your home. Okay, so I'm going to make a little mark that that's where that one is. So I have two marked, so I get points for that. Look, I got some ink on there. Let's see if I can get that off without destroying the book. Um, this book is very, it has a very uh, weathered cover. Oh yeah, it came off. Sometimes some of the red will come off too, so just be prepared. Don't rub too hard. Okay, I think we got most of it off. It, it adds to the weather, right? I agree. Uh, okay, so where are we talking about? Oh yes, we're perfect. Okay, so now we are going to fill our um, uh, belly bands. Okay, so I just grabbed some old ephemera. If you, and, and old ephemera is basically old papers. So I love to collect, um, like this is from 1889. Uh, it's an old receipt of some sort. Here's an old uh, prescription. Um, I'm not sure the date on this one. It's very old though. 
Uh, here's an old, another old receipt from the Office of the Sewer Department back in 1926. And here's a book page from the book. This is explaining the contest. I thought that would be fun to pop in there. And another journal page. And here's some beautiful old, uh, uh, what's that say? Esquitos. Esquitos. That's probably how you say it. Uh, but this is just some beautiful, I don't know, parchment-like paper. I don't know what this was for. Maybe a label for a wine? I don't know, but it's gorgeous. And I thought that might be fun to pop in there. So fun things. But if you don't have stuff like that, don't fret. Use what you have. Um, maybe you want to take some copy paper and turn it into pretty stationery just by putting some basic rubber stamps on it. Maybe you just want to take some coffee dyed pages and uh, trim those up and tuck those in there as well. That could be very fun. Maybe you just want to tuck in journal cards. Um, postcards, things like that. I mean, totally up to you. Okay, let's go back and find our our first one. Here it is. It should be all nice and stuckaroo. Okay, I think that might look pretty in there. Let's just see what looks what looks good. And you can put multiple things in here too because the belly band can actually hold quite a bit. Here's a really pretty um, ledger page from 1868. And it is, I think it says, I'm going to probably get the spool thread. I can read that. Two pair of socks. Oh, one coffin. There you go. Or it could be coffee. Sorry, it could be coffee. Um, tobacco, probably coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a little sugar, some eggs, and one coffin, please. Okay. Well, you know, that happened back then. And it's on both sides. So I love to um, keep a lot of these ledger pages pristine because I think people enjoy reading them and discovering what's on them and feeling the paper. But often they will tear and they will crack at the fold and things like that. So you may end up with pieces which can also be used. So I'm just going to, you know, you can use it in collage and stuff like that. Okay, so we have that in there, which is plenty. You know, it does not need more than that. But I'm going to go ahead and stick something else in there. Okay, maybe this really cool paper. I don't know. I just think that's really cool. Or should I put this old um, vintage, oh, this is probably antique um, prescription in here. Maybe let's tuck that in there. Okay. And you can also tuck it like this. Oops, I'm, I'm actually inside the thing. It's okay. And you can back it on something if it's super fragile. I think I'm going to orient it like this. There we go. That's how that's going to be. Okay, and I could go ahead and dress this up more. I could add more little flu-flus and, and bling and things like that and little pieces of material. I think I have a little piece of material here. What do I have here? That's kind of pretty. I need to put something there. Maybe I'll put something at the top and the bottom. Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Let's do it. Let's just do it. You know, grab your, your, your brother's shoelace. He's not doing anything with that. Let's make something out of it. Good grief. Got to have some fun here in life, right? I'm going to do the cheater bow. This is the double bunny ear bow. And I'm not going to tie a knot because I don't want a big fat thing there. I am just going to cross this and staple it with my, you got it, the Tiny Attacher by Tim Holtz. Not Tim's, nothing tiny about Tim. No, Tim, you're a big dude. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that there. That's cute. And um, if I put it on the top and the bottom, it won't look like you're supposed to pull it. That's my, my theory. Okay, I'm going to put that there and I'm going to make another one. Is it too much? It could be. I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. Crossing. Okay. Two bows. Cross. Clip. Oh, look, I have a third bow. That's probably good luck if you get a third loop. Yeah, I think that's like finding a four-leaf clover. You get three, three loops for your money with, you know, one move. And, oh, I missed it. Unless you miss it, then, then you, you have to start over because that happens. Could be a big loop. No, 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 no. All right, let's twist it, make that smaller. Tuck it in, we're gonna staple it again. I'm gonna take that other staple out. We're just gonna start over. Well, you go now, we'll start with this one. Okay, um, let me take that staple out. Okay, that's how not to staple this. Okay, we know, never mind the three loop fancy trick, Pam. You just get back to brass tacks. You just show it how it's done right. Okay, I can't get that one out. For time purposes, we will move on to the last little piece I have. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with tying a bow, you know, that's okay. I think if I was using thinner material, I would probably just tie the bow. Um, but it's a little bulky. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can catch it this time. If I can't, then I'm, I'm, then it's just one of those days, you know what I mean? It's just one of those crafty days. Okay, here we go. Did we get them all? I think so. Okay, I think that's pretty, oh, nope. <laughs> okay, never mind. Can I get this one off? Right, well, valiant try. Here we go. 
Uh, okay, so I think what the universe is trying to tell me, don't put a bow down there. It is saying do something different. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to come along. Got a lot of shadows today. Uh, I'm going to put, I'm just going to put something here. Okay. Maybe the length of this. There we go. This is going to be different. Yeah. You weren't expecting this. No, no, this is coming at you fast. Hold on to your, hold on to your hats. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to put that at the bottom. And now I want to put something on it because, um, what's this? This is like a weird thing just sitting on my desk. Okay, we have a flower. We have a purple flower. We have some fuzz. Could work with the fuzz. Um, I think I can turn this into a bow. Isn't that weird? You can just like take fuzz and turn it into a bow. Is that a bow? It's kind of bow-like. Yeah, okay, so let's, um, it's like threading from some material that came off somewhere. Okay, let's just put that down. Here we go. A little dollop. Let's spread that a little bit so it has something to grab onto. All right. Uh -huh. Well, it just looks like an odd thing down there, but you know, that's what a junk journal is. It's an odd thing. Okay, now I think I want to put two little somethings to give it anchor. Um, so it looks like there was some thought process behind it. Let's bring out the bling box. All right, what do we got? Pink, maybe pink might, might work well here. Okay, let's try that. Maybe white would be nice or clear. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. Keep digging. Yep, no, I got it. I'm digging. Here, here's a clear. Here's some of this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. All right. Okay. Um, remove any stringies that occur. And then get a little extra glue. Um, okay, I'll use a fabric fix because I can't find the glue stick. Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to use that to cover the staple. Whoop, came off right on my thumb. How about that? Okay, got that one. All right, and then I'll put one down here to uh, counterbalance that. There we go. Actually, you could put the drop down here. I think this is much more efficient. Put the drop down and then place this on it. So, yes, somebody mentioned that to me that you should do that. Okay, so now we have this at the top. And we have that at the bottom, right? Just use what you have. You'll be surprised how many things you can uh, put into your junk journals that maybe you didn't think about. Okay, if you find these are loose, uh, that's where I would come in and tuck more in there. So when you glue down your top and your bottom, make sure it's nice and flush and it, you have glued it down well. Okay, so let's move along and find the second one. That's going to be in signature number two. And we are looking for a belly band. So somebody make a noise if you see a belly band go by. Oh, here we are. We're our double loaded belly bands here. Um, okay, so I think here this would be nice in here. So I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to try halfies first. I'm going to slip that under there. That'd be a nice contrast. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, and it fits well. So that's an easy thing. Now here's a skinny. I want something delicate to go in there, but maybe firm enough where it's not going to slip out and um, that type of thing. So let me look through. Hang on. Okay, I found this cute little envelope, and I thought maybe I put a little fun something in it. Um, hmm, this is kind of cute. This is an old receipt of some sort. It's a little long, but I could fold it. No, nope, not the right size. Okay, what's this? This is a Flower Power Historical Herbal Remedies book. Well, that's kind of cool. Maybe I could take a page out of there and add that in. That's very neat. But maybe I, I want white contrast because that's a... A caramel color. What's this? This is perfect. It's white. It's Adams Bus Company. This ticket, when used and $90, 90 cents, will purchase a new one of 45 miles. I have no idea what that means, but it's been punched many times. There's still a few punchies to go, but I think it's going to fit. Oh, that's going to be really cool. Yeah, there we go. A nice little piece of old ephemera in there. And then you can just come along and tuck this little puppy in here. You're very... Um, ginger with your process there. Maybe a different color might have been um, uh, better here, but you can also stagger. Uh, I need some color or something there. Okay, so I have one in there, but I'm not done. No, I'm just feeling I'm just not done. I'm looking through my long tall sallies right now to see if I can find some contrast. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I found this beautiful old postcard from Quenemo, Kansas. Quenemo, Kansas, a cottage home. 
Isn't that beautiful? It's from 19, I would say that's probably 11 or 14 possibly. Uh, Dear Mother, if it is not too bad, we will be out Thursday. You need not send in for us. We can get the horse and buggy signed Ethel. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Isn't that awesome? That is so cool. Okay, so let's stick this in here too. It's going to be nice and firm. It's going to give a little contrast there like that. Okay, I think we're done there. And uh, we could decorate this more, but let's just go ahead and see what we're doing next. Okay, now I marked the next one. Look at us go. Now we're like professional crafters that glued everything together. Look at that. What'd you do, Pam? Okay, it's okay. This is our bottom belly band. And I like sticking tall things in these. It's wider. And this might be a fun place to put this entry to uh, foreclose a mortgage from 1910. That's when it was from 1910. Uh, but these are very interesting papers. A lot of them were handwritten. I guess that's 1909 here. Very interesting to read if you've never come across these. They're beautiful registry of deeds or mortgages or indentures or warranty deeds. Very fun. Okay, let's, oh, you just fit perfectly. Like you guys snuggled in like that was made in heaven. And maybe I want to do something here. Um, but we'll do, that's for extra decorating another day. But that's kind of fun. And you can also decorate this up. Look, a little glueage there. Glue seepage. You want to check for that and give it the finger roll if um, you find you have some glue balls that are oozing out. And that will quickly eradicate those little issues. And then we're down to the last one, which will be right Yeah, There is our double belly... Be oh, I'm, I've got to talk quickly. I'm down to 15%. Okay, so... Um, uh, let's put on something pretty. Hold on. Okay, I found this piece. It's a really gorgeous old piece. Uh, Les Parisiennes uh, from 1869. It's an old um, piece from a, I don't know, it's a piece of art or something. But I, I just think it's beautiful. I, don't, I have to fold it to put it in. I don't want to fold it. I think it's, maybe it won't break. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right, I don't think it's going to break. I'm not going to squash fold hard. I'm going to put it in this way because I just think it's so lovely. And I really, I think it, with the red, it, it just needs to go in this book. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, that sticks out. Okay, you got to fold more here. And uh, you can put these in envelopes. You can tuck them in belly bands if you find a really pretty piece of something. And uh, just put it wherever your heart's desire. Or you can tear pieces of it and glue it onto a page because it's your book. You can do that. And there are the two little faces peep out. Isn't that cute? And I would probably do some more embellishment there. But we are pushing on 37 minutes, so I am going to wrap this up. Today we did sentiments, words, and belly bands. Um, so I hope you had fun. I hope this was enjoyable for you. I, I love spending time with you guys. I really appreciate you guys coming along on this journey. I just wanted to show you what it looks like to actually make a chunky monkey the whole way. What's it sticking up? Oh, that's that piece flap up. Yeah, okay, got it. All right. If that's too long, I can always tear that down after. I might tear that down a little bit. Did like that picture. Should have paid more attention when I glued that in. Um, Sunny, do you have something to say? I have something to say, Mom. I do. I, I, okay, here I come. I'm in my little, little sleepy snuggle place, but I would never miss a second with you guys. Here I come. Hello, everybody. I'm wide awake and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed today. I had a nice breakfast. We went for a walk this morning, and I'm snuggling, sleeping in my bed, growing like a puppy does. And apparently there are workmen. Sunny, hello. <laughs> there are workmen snacks, snacks. <laughs> okay, teaser words. Um, there are workmen coming today, and I will be underfoot. So Mom said I have to hang out in the craft room with her all day. There could be worse things. I love you all. Bye. <laughs> okay, thanks, honey. <laughs> you're you're the bomb. You're so cute. Okay, I know, I know. I'm like the, the pathetic woman with her dog, you know, oogling over it constantly. That's me. <laughs> um, guess you guys figured that out probably by now. Okay, so for anybody who is new, I'll back up so you can see my entirety of my mess. Um, my videos, they come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm going to read from the bottom up to totally throw you. Um, hey, remember that fun can be simple. Create with reckless abandon. And uh, I have a merchandise shop, if you haven't heard. If you're looking for really cool um, zipped hoodies and sweatshirts and t-shirts that say create with reckless abandon or the paper outpost on it, you might just find something there. And um, if you find value or had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, 
Uh, all my links are in the drop-down description box below, and if you're on your phone, just touch the title of the video and it should pop open. Uh, I have an Etsy shop where I sell vintage digi kits, which are printable downloads. You can print out at home on your printer and use them any way you like in your artwork. I have um, a print and mail service if you do not have a printer at home and you would still like some printable downloads. Um, uh, you just pick, uh, buy the print and mail option and then pick out 10 names of digi kits that you just got to have. I send them in batch, batches of 10 and um, you can email the list to pam at the or you can send it to uh, me through Etsy message and uh, I will print those out on a nice lightweight cardstock and sh ship them out to you. I also have fundals, which are collections of old papers and interesting things, um, old ephemera, um, some interesting vintage book pages, antique book pages, and also some hand-dyed papers and a whole plethora of other things, but you'll get a hundred pieces in um, a package and I mail those to you. That is called a fundal with an F. Um, I have a newsletter. Hey, if you haven't joined our newsletter, sunny in my new, my newsletter um the paper elbows newsletter it's free you get it every month and you get a free digital image um i put it in different sizes on one page for you the link is at the bottom of every newsletter and um you can print it out and use it in your artwork any way you like and um i did i tell you i think i told you i have a podcast it comes out tuesdays and thursdays um so there you go folks if you had some fun um uh keep keep on having more fun that's 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 the whole ticket we will continue to pursue this so how fat are we getting um, okay, we are we are here. That's what it's doing. Okay, uh, if it sat on its side, let me see if I could show you from the side how it looks. I think that's the best thing. See, now we're looking at that. Okay, now let me measure. So if you want to know the gator mouth of it all, where we are at, I'm going to get my ruler. Measure here, right? Live. Okay, now I'm going to turn the ruler. We're almost at four inches. Oh, can't see that. Here, can you see it? We're almost, okay, no, here, down here, we've got to measure this side. Here, okay, that's right, uh, there we go, um, about the four inch mark. Can you read that? I don't know, it's like a shadow or something, but it's basically four inches gator mouth at this point, and we're going to keep going a little bit more, uh, just so you can see how a uh, chunky monkey is truly created, in case you want to make one. Um, so your desk can look like this too, yeah. <laughs> Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.